On Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 17th, there are major changes happening to the MCC. We have a whole new game, brand new features, more content, and excellent optimization for the Xbox Series X and S. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. But yes, November 17th at 10 a.m. guys, we will be receiving Halo 4 on PC. But there's so much more than just Halo 4 coming out on PC when it comes to the MCC. There are huge sweeping changes with massive new features that are going to be absolute, well, game changers will pardon the pun when it comes to this game and especially with so much more content but we've been getting like a trickle news feed of everything that's coming in and i've been updating you guys as we've gone along but in this video is gonna be an all-in-one encompassing update informational video of everything happening to the mcc on november 17th like we mentioned we have a whole new game we have cross play and a whole bunch of other new features coming in a brand new season which we will get a chance to preview some of the content that's in here so they have early access to the game as well as some improvements to the series x so let's jump right into it so let's start off with the obvious point halo 4 is coming on pc which is going to be absolutely awesome i've had a chance to play it a ton during the betas of the flights and also some early access that i had a chance to play and i'll tell you guys it runs super smooth. I've been playing it at like 120 frames, being able to play it through the campaign. I've also played through multiplayer on the flight and it just works guys. Like it's been really fun. I've actually kind of found a new enjoyment of playing Halo 4, where before I was kind of like my black sheep of the Halo franchise. This time I'm actually really enjoying it. And Halo 4 is coming with campaign, Spartan Ops, Halo 4's multiplayer, along with a Forge update as well. Now I know a lot of your console players are like, yeah, we've had Halo 4 since the launch of the MCC. What's so great about this? Well, one, it's just like you know, their standard campaign. That's nothing really changing there. Uh, Spartan Ops, you're getting some changes. You're actually gonna be able to bring in your custom Spartan into Spartan Ops now. So that's gonna be actually kind of a nice little addition right there. Give each player some more individuality while playing. And obviously you have the suite of Halo 4's multiplayer. You get a chance to play that. Nothing really changing there a whole lot. Uh, though a big change is going to be Forge. They're getting the Forge update, that was what they call it. Basically what they're going to be doing, like the canvas maps that don't really have a whole lot on there. It's kind of a blank slate for you to edit on. They added in more objects, they upgraded the budget, and also they added some brand new features into there. Forge features like toggle rotation access, trait zones similar to Halo 2 Anniversary as well. This is kind of sp spruce it all up. And on top of that, you get to fly a pelican. Yeah, you can fly a pelican now in Forge, which is pretty freaking awesome. We have never been able to do that before in Halo, at least for the multiplayer side of things. And of course, theaters are going to be in there as well, so you can take some awesome screenshots. Now, the big feature I'm super excited about, guys, is going to be cross-play. It's going to be able to be have cross-play between Xbox and PC, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, interesting thing, though, the day of uploading this video, Monday, November 16th, ranks are going to be down. And the reason why is because they're gonna be merging the ranks together so then you can have a unified rank between console and PC if you've been kind of playing on both like I have. And so you're probably wondering, okay, so is it forced crossplay? What's going on with that? Well, if we take a look right here into the MCC, it's in your options, go over to settings, and then you go over to networking right here. You have a chance to enable or disable input-based matchmaking and platform-based matchmaking. That's the crossplay right there. Uh, of course, I'm going to have that enabled just so you can find matches faster. You know, I tested this out in the flight and also with the recent edition of the early access that I have. And it just works, guys. Like, I played with people on console and I played with people on PC in the same lobby. And we're having a great time playing, guys. It's really awesome. I'm <laughs> really enjoying it. Uh, you also have server region selection here. So basically, you get to kind of pick out which servers you'd like to select uh, in this early access build that I have. Uh, it doesn't show the population, which should, in earlier build it showed low, medium, or high population. Just to kind of let you know what you're getting yourself into when you select these different servers. Uh, right now, it does not show a general population, but it does show ping. So you can see I've select, deselected quite a few servers where you know I don't really care for having a server above 100 ping, and so I, I'm keeping everything you know North America based at least when it comes to my servers. Now switching over to accessibility, you have the text chat availability. This one you can choose between all players team only or squad uh, so that you can actually change it so then if you don't want to deal with any toxic players or anything 
probably just put it on your squad. So if you're solo queuing, you won't be really seeing any chats going on. Or if you're only with your team, that's what you'll be seeing as well. Now, some great additions coming in with video options. We have a whole new suite of video options for your PC, guys. So now you have a chance to actually choose the monitor you want your game to perform on, which is going to be awesome. I've been seeing a lot of my friends want to be having performing on a specific monitor. Now they actually get a chance to choose that. Uh, you can choose your graphic settings in the UI, which is kind of interesting. And also you have per game graphic options. So now I can choose between, you know, I can toggle between all the different Halo games that are in the MCC right now. I keep them unified just because my PC can run them all. But say, for example, you like your gamma a little higher in Halo Reach and you like it a little bit lower in Halo 2 or something like that, you can do that. You can change your FOV settings. You can have VSync on and off. You can limit your frames now, which is actually a really great feature. Uh, the different f limitations you have, you can go 60, 120, 180, 240, and then unlimited as well. I like to keep it at 120. And for a lot of the other games, you get to choose specific graphics settings like um, you know, anti-aliasing, blood, detail quality, uh, post-processing, shadow quality, uh, and also texture resolution and things like that. Now each game has their own specific kind of settings you can choose from, so they're not going to be universal, but you know, keep in mind that each game does have its options. So if you really want to try to tailor your experience exactly how you would like it, now you can. And one thing I want to hop over here, guys, and show you some new things coming to Halo Reach and H2A as well. Uh, unlimited frames is smooth. It works. Like, you can actually play above 60 and it actually looks good. I remember this section on Beaver Creek where I'll be moving around over here and just be really framey and choppy and just not looking good. This is super smooth, guys. Playing at 120 FPS and it works, dude. Like, it's super smooth, just like how you would see, like, in Halo 2 Classic, uh, Combat Evolved and Halo 3 and ODST as well. And this got the treatment as well in H2A. And this is just an amazing addition. Now, a really cool thing I want to show off, guys. So you can see one thing here. I'm playing on Lowered Crossers. I did that previously because the view models were just gigantic on the retail version. They really covered up your screen. Well, and they actually changed up the view model angles with this update. So you can see that I have the Halo Reach Sniper Rifle in Lowered Crosshairs. So if we go to Settings over here and change it over to Gameplay, put myself at Centered Crosshairs. You can see now it just angles the weapon up kind of similar to how you had from like combat evolved or something so it doesn't take up a whole lot of your screen so if you guys want to play centered crosshairs on pc now you can without having to worry about half your screen getting taken up by your power weapons which is just an amazing addition now this next section i want to remove my webcam because i want to go into the customization and show you guys some of the new stuff coming for the new season now we don't have access to the new season right now that will be available as soon as it goes live on MCC on the 17th. I guarantee you I'll be making a video showcasing everything that's in the new season and all the content involved with that, guys. So you definitely want to subscribe to, to the channel to know when we post that video go live. So if you want to go through a quick scroll of some Halo 3 customization, we can just check out like some of the choose a skin sec section. We have some vehicle skins now, as you can see right here for like the Warthog, various different uh, changes you can make right there for like the Hazard Pay, Rally Hog, Arctic. Uh, you got the Goss Hog as well, different settings right there. Ghost and a lot of the Covenant vehicles are very similar to the options that we have for like Combat Evolved when it comes to the different vehicle options. I did make a video on this previously, kind of like showing off the leaked content. Now, all, not all the leaked content is within this uh, build because I think in the leaked content, they had like an Arctic version of the Hornet right now for this early access build that I have. Doesn't, I don't believe it's showing casing everything when it comes to different weapon skins. Uh, for example here, uh, for the leaked video that I showcased, I showed the battle rifle, I had a gold camo. There's no gold camo as an option right here, but I'm sure it'll be patched in on the uh, November 17th update. You can see some of the sniper rifle skins looking pretty awesome. This is the avalanche skin, which looks kind of similar to the like Arctic skin that they had for the get earn rank 20. So I don't know if it's going to be strictly tied to uh, Recon Slayer rank 20. So maybe you get early access to unlock it or if it's going to be in the season pass again i'll let you guys know in the, in the video on tuesday and you can see the different options for like the shotgun you got the uh, different options for the assault rifle uh, and they didn't showcase anything new here for the uh magnum but there are new magnum skins smg skins coming in here guys you get the bang of tiger if you want to rock your uh, fanfare of the tiger king you can now you get the fl flamethrower options and also just like so many different kinds of options you can choose from. Now if you want to skip over to Halo 4, we can showcase some of the new weapon skins that are going to be coming into the game as well. So sorry for the assault rifle. One of my favorites, guys, 
you definitely need to check out. Obviously, you got like the you know the shark tooth looking one, but this one, look at this. This is like some Gears of War bloody assault rifle. That looks awesome. And then you also see this uh, TBN model as well. This is really cool, like wood and gold kind of leathery kind of look to a lot of the weapons within Halo 4. They all, they, pretty much every weapon has that similar kind of model. Uh, but you can kind of just view some of the different kind of weapon camos they have. And um, I don't know if everything is going to be shown, being shown right now. Again, again, with, once this uh, stuff comes into the game for the season pass, I guarantee I'll let you guys know exactly what you can and cannot unlock when it comes to the next season. Uh, if you guys don't remember, there are going to be no Halo Reach armor options within uh, this next season because I just couldn't quite fit it into the next season pass. Uh, though I guess I guarantee you that within season five, we'll probably have the new Halo Reach armors coming in as well. You guys can check out all that awesomeness right there, but you can get, kind of just scroll through and see some of the cool new weapon skins that are coming in, the new content coming in for for Halo Four in season four as well. Like, look at that bolt shot. That's a classic looking bolt shot right there. And don't forget, you're gonna have per piece armor customization in Halo 4. Not like what you have right now in the MCC. So the November 17th update is just bringing you guys so much content. It's kind of silly. I'm definitely excited to play some MCC. I will be grinding out season four and trying to unlock as much as I can. Now I've seen an image of what's kind of like the framework, what's going to season four gonna look like. It looks like there's gonna be about 50 tiers as well for the amount of season points you're gonna need. You're gonna need at least 50. Um, last season they did up the ante on some of the uh, more valuable items up to two points for uh, seasonal points. So I think last season you needed like 61 or 62 total points. So I would probably assume about the same. You probably wanna get 60 to 70 season points by Tuesday as well. I think right now I'm kind of settled around like 45, 50 or something like that. Now I wanted to showcase two awesome new nameplates coming in. Obviously since it's a new season, we're gonna get a ton of new nameplates guys. And you can see there's a ton of really awesome looking nameplates here. Again, they're all locked behind uh, probably the season pass. That's coming around guys and so but i want to showcase two that you get from just logging into the game you get two of these awesome quite hilarious looking uh nameplates of one of them is so i get that you get a halo infinite one right here looking pretty awesome but my favorite one the sergeant johnson one and if you can see it's just, close yeah sergeant johnson's face yeah but then the background is just a really close up of his mustache like that is just awesome i love it I'll probably be rocking this one for quite a while because who doesn't love a good Sergeant Johnson mustache? And lastly, for all you Xbox Series X Halo players, yes, there is no Halo Infinite. That is the big sad right now, but the MCC is getting a huge update when it comes to playing on the Xbox Series X. You're getting the 120 frames update, so you're going to play at 4K 120 frames on the Xbox Series X. On the Series S, you get to play 120 frames at uh, 1080p so a little bit of a difference there uh, both consoles are getting an FOV slider now we did test out in the flight for the Xbox one si series of consoles they said there had some issues and it sounds like FOV slider for the Xbox one family of consoles will be coming at a later date my guess would probably most likely uh, early 2021 and also you're getting improved draw distance as well so you're gonna see less muddy textures at distance much smoother experience as well and smoother experience as an improved split screen experience in campaign and multiplayer as well. Me personally, I held off on buying a Series X. It's a little bit of expensive pr purchase for me right now. And also I'm looking more for a GTX 3080 or a really nice graphics card with RTX involved because I kind of like playing on PC more. And I'm pretty sure that Infinite's going to have crossplay. If MCC gets crossplay, Infinite's gonna have crossplay, so I'm not too worried about which platform I'll be playing on. So yeah, those are all the changes happening to the MCC on November 17th, guys. Again, I'll be making a video on Tuesday, November 17th, when that season pass goes live, so you can see all the content and then where the unlocks are when it comes to MCC season four. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for that, guys. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.